Jack, there's a lot going on with Bitcoin and BRC20, and now there's ORC20, and there's ordinals. And it's brought the Bitcoin network to a little bit of a, I mean, if, you, if you're looking at, it, at the Bitcoin network from a store of value point of view, it's quite scary because the meme pool's full, transactions have become slow. What do you think the effect is on Bitcoin as a store of value from all these things? I think it's actually uh, amazing that uh, whatever happened, happened because finally Bitcoin got utility. And at this point, it's not really just about storing value in Bitcoin. You can actually use Bitcoin to get ordinals and to get BRC20 uh, tokens. So what we're seeing is what we're experiencing is tokenization of the Bitcoin ecosystem, which is great for uh, Bitcoin miners, because for uh, the first time in, in this decade, what? Bitcoin network has experienced what we call uh, the flippening, the flippening of uh, reward fees uh, versus the, uh, the, the actual subsidy. So basically yes. Bitcoin miners generally get 6.25 Bitcoin per block. Yesterday they were getting 6.25 Bitcoin per block plus another seven in uh, in fees. Yeah, so th I did see that the miners were earning, they were earning a lot more fees. They were earning a lot more fees than usual, but doesn't it make the network unusable for people who just want to transfer large amounts of money? Like if I just want to send, if I'm here because I want to send, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin, doesn't it make the network a little bit unusable? No, that's not true. That's not true because the, the only difference between yesterday uh, when our project launched the BRC20 and uh, last week is that last week you were able to send large sums of money with uh, $5 as fees just to do a transfer. And then yesterday was $20. It is still very, 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 very low. It is just if you underprice your transactions, you're going to have to wait. But that's the law of the land. What happens if, if, if the volume increases exponentially? So what happens if ordinals and BRC20 and ORC20 now become... Um, 10 times the size that they are, so to speak. What, what happens then? The same thing what happened to Ethereum. So Ethereum uh, was uh, uh, needed to be scaled up and there were different uh, type of solutions were presented. There are layer twos, Polygon network came up. Um, so Bitcoin has Lightning and there's very other various other uh, roll-up solutions are being presented. So this is actually great for uh, everyone and great for blockchain. Blockchain needs to scale. 